This is a tutorial on how to use the CRMLS matrix and RealDesk SmartDesk search point to make some saved IDX links. If you are currently a member of the CRMLS, then you have a feature to be able to take IDX and frame it within your site. Now this isn't the best way to use IDX on your website, but it is a way that you can provide your customers with the ability to search the entire MLS through your website. So what you're going to do is you're going to log into your CRMLS and you're going to come here and you're going to click on Smart Desk. Once you open up the Smart Desk, you're going to come over here to Marketing and you're going to go to Smart IDX. And once that opens up, you're going to come over here to Links. Now these are all the options that you can use to configure your IDX, by the way. You can force people to register. Um, you can change your banner, your display, your search, all that. But we're going to concentrate on links today. So when you click on links, these are your main links. This is your link to your map search, your standard search, your listings, and your office listings. And if we come down here, you're going to see your custom links. Now if this is the first time you've logged in, then these are going to be blank. There's not going to be anything here. But in this case, I've already created a couple of links. And you have your standard search links and your map search links. There's several different kinds of links that you can create. And we're going to start with your standard search. So what you're going to do is you're going to click Add Standard Search Link. And notice how each one is opening up in a new window. Okay, so here is your standard search link, and what you're going to do is you're going to create that link. Now, to give you an example, here's a realtor in this MLS that is has lots of different community links for each of their cities. If you go to one of the city pages, you're going to find that the main city has lots of sublinks for lots of different things, and you can create these sublinks using this criteria. So this is going to be the basic criteria. You can do your price range, which would be like these ones. And you could do your um, different criteria as far as foreclosures. You could do rentals and leases. You could do um, condos, houses, and so on. And that are going to be these things up here. And then you could get even more um, specific by like for instance bank owned property. Uh, foreclosure is actually bank owned property. Those are going to be down here in the advanced options. So we're going to create a link. Uh, we'll just go ahead and match one of these. We'll say Elisa Viejo four bedroom homes. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to choose Elisa Viejo and for those of you that don't know I just clicked in here and started typing Elisa Viejo with my keyboard until it found it. That's a way to quickly get to it and we said four bedroom homes so I'm gonna go ahead and choose bedrooms four. And that's it that's my criteria so again additional criteria down here if you want to get more intense and you're gonna go ahead and click save search it's gonna open up this uh, box and you're gonna type in Aliso Viejo homes for sale with four bedrooms. Now it's really important to use that homes for sale in there in conjunction with the city because that's going to be great for your search engine optimization. And then you're going to hit go and that's it. So now when I come back here to my uh, SoCal RDS, this this window and refresh it, you're going to see right here at the top it has saved this link and there it is. And if you'd like to send these links to your webmaster, the easiest way to do so is to just go ahead and highlight this entire section. Control C on your keyboard or on a Mac it's going to be Command C. And go to Microsoft Word or whatever Word you, uh, document you use. And go ahead and Control V as in Victor. Paste. It's going to paste this and you can save it and then send it to them. And all they're going to have to do is click right in here to get that. So they can click right in there and copy Control A. Control C and it will actually paste the whole link for them. So it's a big long link, you don't want to have to deal with that. So just copy and paste this, save it as a new document, and email it to them as an attachment. And that's how you are going to create a standard search link using the CRMLS matrix RDesk Smart Desk IDX. Make sure you check out my YouTube channel for more videos and to find other tutorials.